Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Been a while since I posted this. It's been a crazy year. You can see I've got bees everywhere. Uh, the weather was really bad in the spring and I got about four weeks behind on queen rearing. But as you can see, Every one of these boxes has got bees in it. I think they're all queen right except for seven. It's more than I usually run here. I think there's a little over 200 here in this yard right now. But next week to 10 days, there's 128 of them going to Texas. So I'll get rid of the bunch. Maybe my life will slow down a little bit. I've been chasing my tail pretty hard. But I've got this yard plus four other yards. That's uh, like a little over 200 here and 350 mating boxes, two frame deeps, and 40 double deep 10 frames. So I've been really busy but today we're going to treat for a black queen cell virus if you raise a lot of queens you have to do that i mean it's just a thing that everybody does that raises any queens to mount anything the black queen cell virus um, only affects queen larvae it doesn't affect the worker cells which is kind of Seems kind of funny, but that's just the way it is. But this this hive up here is a breeder hive. And you really treat it the same way you would EFB, European Fowl Brood, which is with teramycin. The only difference is term, uh, European fowl brood you, tweet, you treat twice. And on uh, black queen cell virus, it, uh, you don't have to treat once. You have to treat your, out of your breeders, and then you have to treat your starters. I had a little bit of black queen cell virus creep up this leak. Doesn't hurt the queens because, uh, I mean, the ones that you get out of it because if they got black queen cell virus, they won't hatch. The, the, the queen cells won't hatch. And, and I know everybody says a, a virus, antibiotics don't um, do anything for virus. That is true. And the scientists think that this is a virus that ha lives off of a bacteria in the bee. So when you kill the bacteria, the virus can't survive. And you treat it one time and it's usually pretty gone. It's pretty simple treatment. You just crack the lid off of them. I like smoked bees down a little bit. I don't like putting the powdered sugar on. Teramycin is a, mixed with the powdered sugar. And you put one ounce on it. You just run down the frames, across the end bars. like that you come back in about two hours in a strong hive like this that all be gone and so with the black queen cell virus pretty simple not that big a deal but we have finally caught up on queens I do try to put a few on the website every week but if you don't see any in your need queens you can get in contact with me off of uh, littlebitshoneybees.com and tell me you're needing queens and I'll get in touch with you and we'll, we'll work something out. I should have queens now through 1st of October. But like I say, I usually have queens middle of May. This year I didn't have any queens till middle of uh, uh, June. So it's, it's been a been kind of a different year. But we're fighting. That's all we do. I've I done that one. I got uh, six other breeder queens to treat. 
and I'm pulling a graft out of my starters today and uh, I'll treat or tomorrow I'm sorry Monday and by the way happy 4th of July uh, and I'll treat them on Monday the starter hives are down here and I learned a few years ago might help a few small time um, queen breeders you can see the, the they got this plywood on them right down here on top and I have the same amount of bees in the summer as I do in the spring but the queen cells would get smaller and smaller and smaller and I found out that if I get them in the shade they make more cells and the cells will be comparable to springtime cells and of course you see the they've got all got gallon sugar syrup feed on them so every time I put a graft in they got a gallon of, of syrup and then I put pollen patty on them. You got to be careful about the pollen patty here because you get you'll get the small high beetles. And I usually give them a strip uh, three inches by six inches and it, they're in there for six days and they, they've always got it eight in six days so the small high beetles don't have a chance to get. I'm going to try to get a few more videos out this rest of this summer and fall. I'm getting caught up a little bit but I, I've got some things i got to get done that I've been putting off because I ain't had time to do it so <laughs> it's not going to slack up for a while. But I want to let you know I was alive and everything's well and uh, you guys have a happy fourth and thanks for watching.